Hi guys, wanted to give you an update because I've since changed my um, pager receiver system. Um, the old system, which is still on YouTube, so you can have a look at that, um, was set up such that there was a radio scanner, um, which was tuned into the pager frequency, and a program called PDW, which ran in the background. What that program did was receive um, audio from the scanner into the computer, it would process it and um, extract the digital messages to work out what the pager message was. Um, it would then send an email just to say um, there's a new pager message and what the pager message was and the computer would interpret it. Um, that worked well but there was a lot of overhead for what it was trying to do so I've since changed um, both the computer that ran it, it was an old Pentium dual core whereas now it's a quad core um, server or a quad core machine with 16 gig of RAM um, and a 3770S processor. Um, so that runs my home automation system, the lights and everything else is still pretty much the same. The difference is the radio receiver is now a dedicated pager receiver. Um, this is a Wirepath PDR3000 page and receiver. Um, which there's an aerial in the roof that comes into a, a signal amplifier and then runs into the aerial line in here. Um, the signal's then processed and fed out through a serial port, which is this one here. That runs down my cable track into this computer and it processes the message directly. So it just skips a few steps and is a lot more efficient. Um, the response system is still the same, it just skips out the email stuff. Um, so, in that the system doesn't need to receive an email from the page or receiver to work. It can read it straight from this when it comes through and does all of the maps and text to speech and everything else as well. So, I'll just do a demonstration of that. Um, this is also on UPS, um, internet connectivity, all of that standard stuff. Alright, so this is standard study. Um, you can see the lights are off. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to send a message um, to myself. Um, I could do a fire call, but to be honest, there's not a whole lot of point because that really hasn't changed too much. So this system's set up to respond to calls to me. So I will put from Travis Hale alert testing by call system. So there'll be a, a couple of seconds delay on this, but I'll send it now. The message has been sent successfully. And what should now happen is the light should turn on. And I also have little devices around the house which play music and they're set to listen to an online CFA radio stream. So it also says what the page of message is. There's a bit of a delay. You can see the lights have come on. And these are the little devices around the house that are called jogglers. Um, that said it as well, and what this one is set to do as well is once that happens it tunes into a, um, a CFA radio stream so we can then hear what those messages are. It's only set to do it on this one, the other ones it's not. Um, but that's just through this test message. Um, the other thing that happens is after a minute the light will automatically turn off. That can be any defined time. Um, uh, the system is also smart in knowing whether I'm home or not. So if I'm not home, it won't bother trying to tell me that there's a um, there's a fire call because I'm probably too far away, or it might not turn the lights on and off. Um, yeah, so that that's my system. You could do a lot more with it if you had automated door locks. There you go. It's been a minute, so it's turned off. If you had automated door locks. Um, it would let you do other things as well, like maybe unlock the doors or 
open a garage door or something else. Um, yeah, so that's my system. I hope you've found it interesting. Um, yeah. Um, and the, the actual software system that runs the music is called Logitech Media Server. Um, still a bit of fine tuning, but you can see this is just a standard screen, nothing too exciting. Um, but the main thing is that it will actually talk and say what what's happening, so at least I know. Um, and then you can get weather and all of that other stuff on it too. Thanks for listening, guys. Hope you found it interesting.